Here I'm going to show you how to install and run Cocktail. Just do a search for Cocktail. Maintain Cocktail Overview will be the first thing that comes up most likely. You want to go to download your free version, trial version today and choose whichever version of OS X you're running. 10.6, 10.5, 10.4. If you're not sure what version of OS X you're running, click the Apple menu and choose About This Mac and it'll tell you right there. I'm running version 10.6.7. It'll tell you whatever you're running. So download the appropriate one. I'm running Snow Leopard 10.6.7, so I'll download this one. After it downloads, it'll be in your downloads window here, and you'll have a disk image of the application right there on the desktop. Double click either one. I'm going to double click the one here. Same thing will happen. It's going to mount the disk image and come up with a software license agreement. Go ahead and agree to that. Standard stuff. Then it's going to take a second for it to unpack and here you have the cocktail application. Now if you're only going to run this once or twice uh, just to clear up a problem you want to click and drag this to your desktop. If you're going to, uh, if you want to keep it, if you're going to pay for it and run it periodically like weekly or bi-weekly, um, go ahead and drag it to your applications folder. But for now I'm going to drag it just to the desktop just to keep things simple. It'll copy over to the desktop and then you can get rid of it. Now we have the cocktail application. Simply double click that to launch it. It will ask for your password. Go ahead and tell it to add the keychain if you don't want to have to enter your password again in the future. Click OK. Now you'll get the main cocktail window. There are a lot of options here because there's a lot of other things cocktail will do. But as far as uh, system maintenance, all we care about is pilot. This very first one. Click pilot and it'll open up with some options. That's what this video is for is to show you which options to set. You'll set these once and then if you run it more than once in the future you never have to set them again you just click run. I want to tell it to automatically restart when it's finished. I like to have it restart the computer when it's done and go ahead and click that little box. Now it's going to automatically restart when it's finished running. You can tell it to play a sound when it's finished if you want to. I'm not going to. Uh, I like to leave all these set the way they are. Clear log files, repair disk permissions, run selected scripts daily, weekly, monthly. I like to leave all that set the way it is. The only other thing I would change would be to click this options button. And in here you get a few options. These three tabs here. We're only going to be concerned, as, as, far, as, I am, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just setting you up with a basic install of Cocktail. Here's how I like to set mine. All these should already be checked. If they're not, go ahead and check all of these. On this first window that says System, check all the boxes. Now we're going to go to User, and here I like to tell it to clear the font caches. I like to tell it to clear temporary files. And if you use any Adobe, Microsoft, or Quark applications, then go ahead and click those boxes. I use these two sometimes. Actually, I don't use Microsoft. I use their mice, but that's about it. So I use Adobe, and so I'll, I'll click that one. The Internet tab, if you want to have to clear your cookies, your download list, your history, anything like that, you can choose that here. I do that myself, so I'm not going to choose any of that. But once you're done filling in these options, everything on system and everything except for Adobe, Microsoft, and Quark on this page, only fill in the, the three here that you, if you have that application or their application installed. Click OK, and it'll bring you back to the main window. When you come back to the main window, like I said, make sure you have it set to automatically restart and click run. Once you click run, it'll start on its way. If you've never run Cocktail, the first time will probably take 15 minutes or so. It'll, uh, it'll run through all of its maintenance. It'll restart your computer, and then when it comes back up, you're ready to go. Cocktail cures all kinds of little uh, system woes, and it keeps your Mac running uh, uh, quick and fast. Um, whenever uh, this comes back, you're ready to go. And that's it.